Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to create practice number three. Practice three. Click OK. And on this one, there was a picture showing us what it should look like. And uh, it looks like a stick of gum with three holes in it. So there are dimensions that you need to make sure that you are following. And uh, uh, then we're going to put the, the holes into it. So here we go. I'm going to start a sketch. I'm going to do it on the front view because that seems to be the easiest for me. And I'm going to use my rectangle tool. Pull it out here. Don't care what size of rectangle it is because I'm going to type in the numbers that I want. Its width is 0.75 and its height is very small. 0.15 and oh my gosh that's really hard to see you can zoom in on it if you wherever you put your mouse that's where it's going to zoom in okay so 0.75 and 0.15 okay so green check mark i've got those dimensions correct i'm going to go back to isometric so i can see what i'm doing i'm going to extrude it and I'm going to choose this square that I just made and that extrusion, it says its depth is supposed to be three inches. So three inches, there you go. And lo and behold, it does look like a stick of gum. So I'm going to uh, place three symmetrical holes in this top surface. So I'm not going to use the hole tool. I'm still going to use the sketch tool. I'm going to sketch. I'm going to put a sketch across the top. And this time I'm going to turn it to the top so I can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm also going to rotate it 90 degrees because that makes it a little bit easier for me to see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to, first thing I need to do is figure out what does symmetrical mean. And if I go and I type, that's why I need T-R-I-C-A-L. Symmetrical, oh, there it is, definition. So having or involving as or exhibiting symmetry, having corresponding points whose connecting lines are bisected by a given point. Uh, let's see, maybe balanced. So on both sides, they're exactly the same. I like that. Both sides are exactly the same. Okay, well, I need to make a line. I'm going to come here and find the center point. The center point lines up with a square. So as I move my mouse around, I can get the end. I can get the center. I can come down here, get the other end. So we're going to start with the center. I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to draw that line straight across. And I want to make it come down and touch the other center point. So I've drawn a line three inches long. I'm going to come over here and turn the line tool off. And now I'm going to grab my circle tool. I'm come here and I'm going to draw a circle. And it says that the diameter of the circle should be 0.5. So I draw the circle. I'm going to click, draw the circle, click, and type 0.5. And I'm going to come and do a third one draw the circle, click, and type 0.5. Now, I need to make sure that these are balanced all the way across. Okay, so now I'm going to dimension. I want to dimension the distance from the edge of this circle, or not the edge, the point of this circle, to the edge line here. And I want that distance to be 0.5. Excellent. I want to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to click the center point. I'm going to come over here and click the up and down line of my rectangle and click it down 0.5. And my last one here, I'm going to click. I'm going to come over here, move my dimension up. And this time I want this circle to be right in the center. So I'm going to say three inches because that's its total length. And I'm going to say divided by, that's the little slash that's with the 
that's underneath the question mark. So you don't need to hit shift. You're just going to hit slash and I'm going to divide it by two. So three divided by two, enter, and it will do the math for me. You probably could have done that in your head, but I just wanted to show you that it will do the math for you. Green check mark, change it back to isometric. And now, oops, I'm looking at the back. Let's turn it around to the front. I'm going to extrude. I want to extrude all six pieces of the circles because the computer's stupid and it doesn't understand that those are circles. It only understands that they're half circles because of the line going down the center. And then I'm going to click remove. And when you click remove, it removes them from the shape. Green check mark. And there we go. There's our stick of gum. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. You have finished practice number three. Take a picture of it, turn it in.